Hello guys, and today I'll be talking you through the uh, iPhone 6S and giving you my first impressions. So if we just switch over to um, screen sc screen record, uh, and you should see you, you should see now about now you should see um, that. I have broadcasted my screen to you guys. Well, I say I say broadcasted. Um, I've over overlaid a screen uh, a screen recording on onto this video. Um, so as Apple said, the only thing that's changed is everything. Yeah, funny. Maybe not the the form factor. Oh, the that design is still all the same. Uh, except you got that new force touch. Oh, my my doctor just chose to wander off. There we go. Except you got that uh, new force force touch uh, display, which I I really like. But I won't get I won't get used to that. I will do it eventually, but not say like a week. It take me a while to get used to it. I don't, I don't know why. Um. It's just a quick demonstration of the features of uh, Force Touch. You can peek at a email um, without actually going in it, and then and, and then you, if you keep pulling down, it will take you into the uh, email uh, fully, full screen. Uh, and now, obviously, you might have heard about that uh, camera upgrade. Now, it, now it's a 12, 12 megapixel shooter. Uh, shoots shoot, also shoots 4K videos. Um, up to, yep, yeah, what? Uh, uh, Shoot set fucking videos, yeah, up to 30 FPS. Um, obviously, still it's 1080p at 60 FPS. Uh, but slow motion is now uh, 120 uh, uh, 1080p FPS, but well, 180 FPS at 1080p uh, and 240 FPS at 720p. I don't. I can't remember if that, that's the same or not. After research that, and now also you have that new front-facing camera. Um. Um. So, so you can enjoy lovely FaceTime calls with your friends or something, so they can really see you properly. Say I don't know if they were on the IMAP 5K or something. Uh, or even even better. Well. No, about the same or a 4K screen or something. I, I don't know. Whatever they're on, they can see you crisp. Also, you've got this live photos thing where you can really uh, peek, uh, it, it can make a photo come to life. Basically, all it does is it records about a second and a half before you to the image, uh, take the photograph, and a second and a half afterwards to create this effect. I I really like that idea. And it's called live photos. Obviously, next next phone, the of the next uh, gen processor is the A9 now. You know, it's thicker from A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9. Yeah, I can't. I can't really um, imagine what the what the iPhone seven would be. Uh, A10 or AX? But AX AX sounds like sounds like some sort of like car. Made by Citroen, the AX. Um, I've heard of it, but I, I don't know. In fact, I don't even know if it's even a car, I suppose. The CPU and GPU performance has, mild, has, mass, has been massively improved. Uh, if you want to check benchmarks, uh, check, check our partner, 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 one of our partner channels. Uh, go, go to Tech1's channel. Tech one channel uh, and he has done some benchmarks comparing the iPhone 6 to the 6S. Um, basically, the, what's, what, what I find pretty funny is the iPhone 6S uh, has the similar benchmarks to the Retina, Retina 12 inch MacBook, which is pretty funny. 
a laptop has the same power as a phone. That's that's brilliant. Apple are brilliant at engineering. Um, yeah, so overall my impressions are pretty high, um, or pretty, pretty positive, I mean. I do, I do love the phone, the camera is brilliant, 3D touch is brilliant, but uh, have you noticed that it's, it's a bit thicker? Um, but that's to co compensate for the uh, 3D touch display um, and stuff. <laughs> Obviously, se same same retina screen uh, there, uh, grand making screen, screen performance. But obviously now they've um, integrated the M M9 now into the A9, uh, so that improves the battery life. Um, uh, also as well, they've improved uh, Touch ID, so it's a lot a lot faster than, than it was on the iPhone 6. Um, so if we just get the iPhone 6 in the shot now, and use my finger to unlock it, please please wait now. You can see it's uh, not, it's fast, but the iPhone 6S is faster. Uh, also as well, you've got the new LTE bands, um, well, I say new, they've got more LTE bands for better, better roaming, um, 4G, uh, 4G abroad and stuff like that. Obviously, next, I, ne next iPhone comes with the version of iOS released on in that year, so it's iOS 9 this time around. Um, th there has been, been a few bugs in iOS 9, um, but then again, I that's for that's a whole all different video altogether. Alright, that's it for this video today, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video.